Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, baby. So I am Nicole Ray. Nicole Ray, here that is. If you don't know who I am, you've probably been hiding under a rock, but let me just give you a little insight. I'm a business owner. I'm a daughter. I'm a friend. I'm a pretty cool chick, contrary to what you might believe, but I'm just an all around good time. If you would like to have some fun, baby, call Nicole Ray, honey, and we're gonna turn up. Now what's next? <laughs> Hi, so I'm a celebrity hairstylist, a salon owner. I have a hairline, I have a wig line. I actually have a bonnet line as well that just came out. So if you didn't know, I did this show called Chasing LA season two. But if you haven't already watched it, don't worry about it. I want you to get a fresh perspective of who I am. You might have a little bit of a tainted image if you've seen that show before, but I was on Chasing LA. So when it pertains to fans, which I like to call them the saints and the sinners, cause I don't like to call them fans. I think that that's just, you know, a cliche. I would say about 60% of the people like me, 40% can't stand me, and the other 10% just wanna tune in to see what I'm doing. Because although they might not agree with what I'm saying, it's entertaining. So I actually met Oliver down to the Instagram live. For anyone who follows me at Nicole Ray Hair on all social media, Media platforms you'll know I love a good Instagram live Oliver has come to my house for vacation I have been to his home we have broke bread honey we have snuggled up <laughs> that's a story for another day so chasing Atlanta was actually on I had just been cast to be on chasing LA and Oliver was live talking about the show so I clicked the button honey to see if he would accept me so I can talk about the things of the things that I liked about Atlanta and we kind of just Clicked. He was like, oh, you're such a pretty girl. Not having any idea that I was actually gonna be on Chasing LA. And we just been connected ever since. So I was actually watching an episode of Chasing LA and I saw a infomercial saying in the mix with Twix, a trip hosted by Oliver Twix to go to Cancun. I've never been to Cancun before, so I thought it would be exciting to be around some people that I kind of had familiarities with, as well as getting a vacation, because as business owners, it's far too often that we take vacations. As a businesswoman, I know how hard it is to make time for myself, to travel, to do things that I just enjoy outside of business. So for Oliver to take the time to not only incorporate his business with his leisure, that was amazing to me. So I was so excited to see him in that element because I think that we both could help each other figure out how to let our hair down and not focus on the business while we're supposed to be focusing on a vacation. Now, I didn't know nothing about exactly who was supposed to be on this trip, but specifically one half of the great group we were born, you know, we're not too keen on one another, so I was kind of nervous, but I ain't no punk, so let's go. If you say no, something shady to me, bitch, I'm gonna say something shady back. I could just go. I don't have to be here. I go. So I hope to get a sense of renewal out of this trip. I hope to reset and regroup. Like running a business, managing employees, managing your life in general is stressful. And I'm hoping to go back ready to tackle all the things that I have to tackle. This is Nicole Ray telling you to tune in to the debut of In The Mix With Twix this summer, Tuesday nights, 8 p.m., 7 central, only on the Chasing Reality channel.